This is 3.4, find and use slopes of lines, 3.4. So you're tracking along with your notes. Let's look, look at that. And I wish that I had actually done these notes different and given us more room. And actually I wish the book had given us uh, more room to be able to go through this. So there's a lot of information that is packed into this uh, top third of the page. So please make sure you follow along with me uh, on that. So here we go. Our objective is to find and compare. So we have two main verbs, find and compare. And what are we finding and comparing? Uh, slopes of lines. So our essential question is how do I find and compare slopes of lines? And I'll put my question mark there. Slope of a non-vertical line is the ratio of the vertical change, what we call the rise, uh, to the horizontal change, which we call run, uh, between two points on a line. Of course, it can be any two points on a line that uh, we get the rise over the run. In other words, that the change in the Y, or what I did was I wrote the same thing. If you guys can hold down the noise, please. Uh, the wrote the same thing in just different uh, verbiage. So change in Y or the difference in the Y coordinates might be a more specific way of saying it. Uh, over, and you see here it's a Y2 uh, minus Y1 over the change in the X. Or you could say the difference in the X uh, coordinates. So X2 minus X1. So what does that look like on the graph? So here's our, our line on the Cartesian uh, plot. And let's label this as point one. So if you would put one there and a circle around it. And again, I'm sorry it's so small, um, but a lot of information here in this uh, small little graph. So let's label this as point one. And if this is point one, then this is x1, the x-coordinate of the first point, and uh, y1. So in other words, the coordinates at this point are x1 and y1. Uh, this is the x-coordinate of the first point, and this is the y-coordinate of the first point. So make sure you understand what that uh, subscript of 1 means on the x and the y. And then label this as point 2. And so this is x sub 2, or the x-coordinate of point 2. And this is y sub 2, the y-coordinate of point 2. So what we're doing in finding the slope of this line is finding the rise. So that's the difference in the y-coordinate. So we'd say y2 minus y1. And you see there y2 minus y1. And that's also over here in our equation, y2 minus y1. Uh, over the run which is uh, the difference in the x-coordinates, uh, x2 minus x1. Now remember, it does not matter what uh, point you label as point 1. You could have labeled this as point 1, and then you would have this as x1 and y1. And then, of course, this guy over here would be point 2, and this would be uh, x2, y2. So you could switch them just as long as Again, guys, hold on noise, please. Appreciate that. Then, just as long as you have all of the, uh, whatever you label as point one, uh, make sure that it's x1 and y1. And the one that you label as point two, it's x2 and y2. So that's a review from uh, algebra. In fact, all of this really is a review uh, from algebra. So slopes of parallel lines. You guys remember that in a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. And any two vertical lines are also uh, parallel. Tell you what, before we get into to that about uh, that parallel lines have the same slope, let me go up here to the top right. You see that I've tried to put in some more information to you. So this is talking about slope uh, here. And so just put a box around that key vocab word of slope. And to remind you that if the line is going up to the right, and so if you were to sign your name going left to right, you would sign your name going up. 
and that is a positive slope. So like for example here in this graph, this is a positive slope. If I was to sign my name, I'd be signing my name up. That's positive. On a horizontal line, you'd be signing your name straight across. That's flat, that's boring, that's just a zero. And then if you had a, a downward slant going left to right, so in other words, if you were to sign your name on this line, you'd be going down, so that's a negative slope. And then a vertical line is undefined. You can't sign your name on a line like that. It might be one way of, of thinking about it. So again, horizontal line, the slope is zero, and a vertical line, the slope is undefined. So back to the parallel lines. That's uh, for two parallel lines. Please do emphasize these two arrows here. Remember those tell us that these uh, two lines, M1 and M2, or line one and line two, uh, these two lines are parallel. And I've just made that more distinctive here by saying M1 equals M2. Same thing that it says in very small print down here, M1 equals M2. Now perpendicular lines, do you remember that? In a, a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one. And then horizontal lines and perpendicular lines or are perpendicular to uh, vertical lines. So in other words, uh, this is a horizontal line, this is a vertical line, and uh, these are perpendicular to each other. So what we're saying here for these two lines, for them to be perpendicular to each other, the product of the slopes, taking m1 times m2, needs to give us negative one. If they're parallel, the slopes are equal. If they're perpendicular, then the product of the slopes is negative one. Uh, another way of saying that is that the slope of one line is the opposite reciprocal, the opposite reciprocal of the other line. So if you had one line that was had a slope of one half, the slope of the line that was perpendicular to that would be opposite. So you change the positive to a negative and you take the reciprocal. So instead of one half, you flip it and it turns into two over one. So um, these two slopes would indicate uh, two lines that are perpendicular uh, to each other. One is a slope of one half, the other is a slope of negative two uh, over one. Or if we had a line that had a slope of negative three, then a line that was perpendicular to that negative three. Again, kind of visualize that. Negative three would be uh, going down because you'd be signing your name going down. So a negative slope of negative three. And then let's take the opposite reciprocal of that. So opposite, you change the sign from negative to positive and reciprocal. Well, how do you take the reciprocal of a, a whole number or integer? Well, you have to put a one underneath it. And once you do, then you can flip it, take the reciprocal and it's a uh, positive one third. And so that positive one third would be going up like this. So for example, this would be your negative three uh, slope and then positive one third uh, would be a slope of a line that is perpendicular uh, to that original line. Let's jump into the book now. Uh, look at example number one on page 163. 163. We want to find the slope of line A. So here is line A. So I grab any two points. Doesn't does not matter which uh, points I grab. Just make sure that those points go through the exactly the intersection of the two grid lines. So you know exactly what that point is. In other words, you would not want to grab, for example, this point here because you're not sure is that negative one and a half or negative one point four. Uh, so make sure that it's a uh, and ideally it's one that they've uh, given you a point on and they've also given you the coordinates uh, for that. So what they've chosen it looks like is uh, for the slope of this line A, let me see, y2 is 4 
So it's probably this guy here. Yep. So they've labeled this point as point two and this point as point one. And again, you could switch it, doesn't matter, but just so we understand how they've done it. So if you had a sheet of paper, you would label this as point uh, two and this is point one. And so this would be, since this is point two, this is the X2 and Y2, and this is X1 and Y1. And then you plug it into your formula of Y2 minus Y1. Now, it looks simple, but it's really easy to make mistakes, especially with uh, negative numbers. Actually, none of these that we're, they're doing here are, are negative numbers. I wish they would have given you an example of that, because if you were to have, so for example, well, all these are positive. No, all these are easy. But if you had a, a negative number for, for example, a y1, then it would be whatever y2 is minus a negative number. And of course, you know, minus a negative number turns into positive. So you would actually add those numbers together. So be very careful with uh, when you have negative coordinates. Example number two. Over on page 164, you're just finding the slope. Finding the slope. And here, here, here's an example of that. Good. So let's find the slope of uh, line 1 uh, here. And it looks like they are saying that uh, point 2, they've chosen to be this point. So this is point 2. So this is x2 and y2. Because you remember your formula, and uh, I think it was sloppy that they, they didn't put down the formula. It's real important to write the formula each time. So please do that. Get accustomed to writing that formula, because you'll have to memorize uh, that formula. So each time, write that formula. That will also force you to say, okay, why two? And also, again, label these points as, in this case, this is point two. And uh, so it's x2, comma, y2. And so y2 is zero, put that in, and then uh, y1 would be four, and so zero minus four. And notice, uh, here it is, for the x then, uh, x2 is uh, negative three, and then minus, and notice that our x1 is negative two. So that's why we have a negative 3 minus negative 2. And remember that um, subtracting a negative is like adding. So you could think of it as connecting those negative bars there together and have one big large positive. So now you have negative 3 plus 2. And think of that on the number line. You're starting at negative 3. And then when you add 2 to it, you're going to the right two blocks. And so that'd be negative one. So be very careful with those those negatives. So you find the uh, slope for each of these lines. Uh, for the blue line, the slope is four. And uh, just by looking at this diagram, you should say, hey, I'm gonna expect that these, these are all gonna be positive slopes. Because if I was to sign my name, I'd be signing them up. So all these are positive slopes.